Rembrandt painted this portrait of Maria Tripp, a daughter of the famous Tripp family, a family of merchants and immensely rich. But even if I hadn't told you how rich she was, you could see it from her clothes. Just look, the girl is 20 years old and she's dressed <laughs> almost like a queen. And what immediately catches your eye is the amount of lace she's wearing. It's a very complicated collar. First a flat collar with edges covering her upper arms and above that a, a piece of fine linen folded double. And just look at the double row of, of lace clearly on show. Because that was the point, of course, since Flemish bobbin lace was so terribly expensive. The greater the amount of lace, the greater the wealth. Bobbin lace like this came in broad strips, which they were sewn onto the collar then. The cuffs are edged in the same way. But the most beautiful thing about this portrait, I think, is the way her décolletage is covered. Because, of course, these, these rich townsfolk were also God-fearing people, and showing too much flesh was considered indecent. But there is some skin showing through the linen and the lace, you see. The girl's soft, rosy skin is visible. It's so beautifully painted. She's also very fashionably dressed, with those slits in the sleeves of her dress, you see. But the most special thing back then was the gold lace they used as decoration like here in the rosettes and strips on her dress. Gold lace was made of silk thread, wound in, in pure gold leaf, as they made beautiful rosettes with this. The detail of the clothing has led art historians to believe that this was painted by pupils of Rembrandt and not by Rembrandt himself, because Rembrandt didn't paint in this very fine style. Rather than painting so true to life, he worked with, with suggestion, as I told you. So he had a studio with all these pupils working there, and probably he said, OK, why don't you just work on some lace today? And the way the hair is painted is exquisite. And the jewels she's wearing, the pearls around her neck, and particularly the shadow cast by the pearls. Those highlights in the pearls, just fantastic. You almost get to know this girl as you look at her. And the huge expectation in her eyes, again, proof of how incredibly good Rembrandt was at portraying psychology.